students. Let me start by asking one, one simple question. With a show of hands, how many of you are proud owners of an iPhone? Okay, that's more than I expected, but according to International Business Time, uh, there are more iPhones sold each day than there are people born into our world. With that having said, my name is David Kitson. Kitson, this is Kevin Thomas, and we are proud owner. We're proud owners of Apple products. We're students at St. Andrews University, and we've done extensive research uh, about Apple products and especially about the iPhone. The three main points we will be covering today are the iPhone history, the iPhone specifications, the iPhone 5 specifications, and how the iPhone 5 can make your life easier. Uh, let's start with the history of the iPhone. According to, according to International Business Times, the iPhone was first announced on January 2007 by Steve Jobs. Uh, it, was, uh, it was only single carried by AT&T, and it came in two different models, the 4 gig and the 8 gig. And it was not subsidized by AT&T, so the iPhone started cost of production was 499 and 599. Uh, a year and a half later, on July 11, 2008, the iPhone 3G came out. It was Apple, Apple, it was the first 3G smartphone from Apple, and with that, Apple started, like, Apple critics, Apple took them out of the critics and showed them that they, they listen, making the Apple, the Apple 3 iPhone 3G and fast connectivity. After that, a year later, on 2010, no, 2009, sorry, the iPhone 3GS came out. It was the first time uh, the iPhone 3GS had a better, a better camera, a 3 megapixel camera. It also had a better uh, broad, Bluetooth broadband and Wi-Fi and wi reception. Also, it was the first app time that Apple started uh, selling two different types of iPhone at the market, showing selling the iPhone 3G by $99 on AT&T and the iPhone 3GS, 3GS by $199 on AT&T. On 2010, with the release of the iPhone 4, uh, Verizon Wireless came into picture, and it was not only a single carrier, single carried by AT&T, but also Verizon started carrying with it. The iPhone 4 revolutionized the market in the way that it sold in the first three days, 1.7 million dollars, 1.7 million iPhones, and it was also the first time Apple changed the, the design of the iPhone, be giving it a Gorilla Glass all in front and back and aluminum in the back as well. The iPhone 4S uh, brought also the first time Apple moved away from other companies in the chips and it went to their own, creating their own chip that was the A4 at that time. It also brought, brought a FaceTime and a camera with it and it was the first time that they were able to connect to a wide, uh, broader and more powerful 3G connectivity. With the iPhone 4S on 2011, uh, Apple revolutionized the market with Siri, which even though many people criticize it because it had many different voice app, voice commands, uh, it has proven to be a, a great app in the way that Samsung and Microsoft have actually incorporated to their phones with the S voice for Samsung and Microsoft with their Windows 8 phone. Now, on September 12, this year, 2012, the iPhone 5 was revealed to the public, changing the design by into a four-inch cam into a four inch display and a better cam and a better 8.1 megapixel camera with panoramic display. Now Kevin Thomas is going to talk a little about iPhone specs. Now since you guys know about the, all the iPhones that was released in the past, I want to tell you about the new iPhone 5, which is considered to be one of the smartest phones in the market right now. The iPhone 5 starting with design itself is a 4 inch megapixel, a 4 inch uh, design which is bigger than all the iPhones in the past. And it offers this 12 percent thinner 20% lighter and 12% uh, uh, skinnier in a way. Uh, the iPhone 5 then has also 4G LTE capable, which means long term evolution, which offers you 20 meg meg uh, megapixel per second download speed, which is twice as speed as fast as a 3G, uh, which is uh, faster than most of the Wi Fi used at home. And moving on, it has an A6 chip compared to A5 chip. The A6 chip, chip will let you download images, emails, and applications much faster than the A5 and the iPhone 4S. And, and the A6 chip will also have better video playback. Uh, the next I, iOS 6, which is released for the iPhone 5 only, uh, will let you uh, access to 200,000 more apps, which makes it the most 700,000 in total, 
which gives you more flexibility and more efficient usage of the iPhone. And the iSight camera, even though it's still an 8 megapixel camera, it will let you uh, take pictures in a better low light efficiency. It will let you record videos in a 1080 HP uh, settings. And you can also take a picture while at the same time you're recording a video, which is a new smartphone uh, efficient uh, application. And moving on to Siri, which is, Siri, which is already in the iPhone 4S, is improved on the iPhone 5, where you can ask about the ask about game scores and like tell send them to tell them to put a wall post on your Facebook, Twitter, and all that kind of new stuff. And the Apple's also working with different car companies to make sure it's efficient with the cars, so you can just talk to your phone. So basically, you can use your phone while driving without even looking at it. It's, it, it's like it's gonna be smart enough. To be, it's gonna be like shut off with all light. You can just talk to it for text messages, to make calls, for directions, and everything else. So moving on, I'm gonna tell you a little bit on how the iPhone will make your life easier. With the iPhone and with the iOS 6, it will let you have access to a lot of new applications, such as graphic calculators, to like coupons that where you can download, which is very uh, easy and efficient for college students and anybody in general. Uh, and the uh, new apps will let you. Uh, just make your life much easier with a school setting or a career setting. And uh, this new thing called the Passbook will let you have the boarding passes and other tickets in your phone in one, one touch away. Or if you ever want to board like an airplane or anything like that, it will just show the board, boarding pass on your phone where you can just scan it. Or if your gate changes, it will pop up in your phone right away so you'll know you will not be late, nothing like that. Uh, by saying that, uh, this is why the iPhone 5 is one of the smartest phones in the market. And I'm going to let my partner David Kinson wrap up the presentation. To conclude this presentation, uh, we first, one of the main points we talked about, we first talked about when the first iPhone came out. We also uh, talked when the iPhone 5 was, iPhone 5 was revealed to the public. And also, I just want to wrap this by saying that the iPhone is mainly a phone that everyone makes by itself with all the apps that one chooses to put on the phone. Thank you very much. If you have any questions.